As a coach for Smart, Strong, Successful Women, uh, I believe that you can get a smart, strong, successful man, but there's a big but, right? There's a big caveat. The hardest part about dating is that we tend to be attracted to the opposite sex version of ourselves, mm -hmm. right? I don't know what that is. Some, some form of narcissism is, I'm tall, I need a man who's tall. I make six figures, I need a man who makes six figures. I'm Catholic, I need a man who's Catholic. It, it becomes some version of that. Mm -hmm. I often instruct uh, people to choose complementary partners, not clones. Uh, and that doesn't always that doesn't always feel right because some, then someone's telling you, no, you can't have what you want. Just know if you've always pursued something that hasn't worked, you might want to come up with a, a different way of going about your your business. So that's that's my little rant. Uh, no, hope I, you could add on to that. I totally agree. I think you're spot on. Um, you know, at Three Day Rule, we work with a lot of those same sort of successful, powerful women who tend to be very type A, take charge, they know what they want, and they want that type of man. Um, and you're right, it doesn't always play out well, you know, because you you are going to have conflict, it's going to be a power struggle, it's going to be a competition, it's just not healthy. Um, but I think some of those women who are so successful and are, you know, feminists are themselves guilty of you know, wanting something that is very traditional. So they want that man. Well, it's not guilty. It's it's a reasonable request. Yeah. Right. The question the question is, if you're a non-traditional woman, can you have a traditional marriage? If you're mm -hmm. working sixty hours a week, it's already not a traditional marriage. Mm -hmm. Right. From right, back back the old traditions, and right. so I think it's a good thing that we scrap these these traditions. The problem is, it's it's thrown gender roles into a blender. Mm -hmm. right. And I, I think. You know, we encourage women to be open to different scenarios. So maybe, you know, when you're working 60, 70 hour weeks, it's nice to come home and have a guy cook dinner for you and have it waiting and, you know, pick the kids up from school. That's nice. And I don't think women see that and, and see what an amazing thing that could be. And I think that that's part of the hard part is, is that is perceived as weakness among men when mm -hmm. it's actually strength. It's, it's stuff that, that uh, successful men have gotten you know, the, the, behind every good man is, is a good woman, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And again, we're not talking about who's more important behind every man. That's not what we're saying. Is it helps if you're out bringing home the bacon to have someone who's supporting you and enabling you to do that. Men see that as a strength in their wives. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that uh, I think in one quarter of marriages, women make more more money. Mm -hmm. um, that it's and. 34% of, there's 34% more college educated women graduating every mm -hmm. year than men. There's going to have to be some sort of shift where we're, maybe it's not total gender role reversal, but, but women start to, to date more like men mm -hmm. and look for qualities in men, uh, supportive, understanding, patient, nurturing, traditionally mm -hmm. feminine qualities mm -hmm. that make for really great husbands.